This inside rain is right here, and I'm pushing, and I'm watching the cow, and when I stop, I use the outside rain. Not the inside rain. That doesn't move. Just use the outside rain. Now, if that cow comes back this way, she's already set up to go that way, right? She's already looking that way. So all you do is add your leg and try to avoid not using your reins. But, of course, that's easier said than done. Watch the way I'm using my leg as I'm moving with the cow. I'm keeping my leg loose. Okay? I'm not squeezing and holding. Okay? Now, once... Once I've got her given to my leg, then I'll just hold my leg on her quiet and hold my leg on her. Toes up. Toes up. You know what happens when your toes drop, right? When a horse stops real hard and you drop your toes, usually it bows you forward and it looks ugly and it's, it's not good for the horse. So to keep your upper body right, you got to keep your knees bent, <coughs> toes up, and I don't really use the stirrups. I just touch them. I don't put any weight in them at all because if you have any pressure on your feet and that horse snaps back, it's going to throw you a little bit. I pick up my feet and my knees a little bit and then, and then just try to stay balanced, right? Okay. Besides this, if your toe is not up, you're not using your whole leg. You're only using your heel. A lot of horses will, won't will like that. So you keep that toe up. All right? Stop with one rein. You notice that my hands didn't change. I'm going to ride up here. Stop with the right rein. Right leg. Now... <clears throat> I realize that some of these horses have no real schooling in the mouth and when you start pulling on them and stopping them, they're not going to like it, okay? Especially if they've never worked a cow. So here's what I, how I get people started on a cow. Instead of pulling on your horse's lips every time the cow stops, right? Tip your horse's nose into the cow. Like the cow stops right here, just tip your nose, the nose right into the cow. And you, the one essential thing now for future reference, this is something you really, your horse needs to know in order to work a cow correctly or eventually cut or work like a cutting horse, right? They must have a what I call a drawback on them. A drawback is where you walk up, you stop, and you draw back and turn the other way all in one motion. That's a drawback. And that's the first thing you put on your horse before you ever work a cow, right? But we don't have time for that, so we're just going to get, we're just going to go for it. So, whoa. Push her over here, stop, draw back. I'm making my range shorter because it makes me a little lighter. Waking her up with my feet a little bit. Whoa. Inside rain is the high hand, right? Now, see how this mare is dropping her head? You want her to be able to drop her eyes to the level of the cow's eyes. That's what you'd like. You'd like her to just drop that head down right there and be watching that cow. So you can't be riding around in here with this hand up high like this. You want to 
pick one up, pick up the outside, the inside hand like this, okay? For future reference, know what that means. And that's to stop. It's like this. Stop, draw back, and turn. Stop, draw back, and turn. You, that maneuver is really important on a horse. And here's another thing. Don't rush the turn, play catch up. Don't, look, you're gonna be late on turns. Don't worry about that, just try to catch up once you've turned. The worst thing you can do is try to rush the turn. You'll blow, a, you'll make a horse not wanna turn. So never, never make them feel like they made a mistake. Don't make them ever feel like they're losing. Like, never make them feel like they're losing, right? Okay. It's like this. Stop, draw back, and turn. And that's a little harder than, than it seems because the horse has to do three things simultaneous without thinking about it. So the probably the hardest part is getting the the stop in the back without hesitation. In other words, when I go forward, getting this where it's like less, that's the kind of reaction you want, right there. This kind of reaction. Pebbles, you're in the way, darn it. What's she doing? She's ready to work the cows. Wait till you see her work the cows. She's got a lot of cow in her, let me tell you. So she's responding pretty good right now to that stop back. And then, of course, the reason, you know, the reason you do that is because it teaches a horse to rock back on their hocks before they turn. That's the reason you do that drawback. If you don't teach a horse that drawback, a lot of times they won't drop back on their hocks. And then, of course, that's not very good either. So you want to give them every chance. And don't worry about losing the cow when you draw back and turn. Then ride on and look, if you're on the inside here, okay, this is about where I want you to stay. I'll move the cow now. She, got a little, she wants to get her head down, so I'm making the reins long. She wants to drop her head. You notice I'm keeping this outside rein low. 